Hello and Kombanwa from Oita's Stadium where tonight it's Wales and Fiji's turn to deliver at the Rugby World Cup in Japan. Now in normal circumstances the weather wouldn't have any impact on conditions given we are under the roof but it's far less humid tonight meaning ball handling should be much easier for both sides. The city of Oita has been unbelievably welcoming across these last 10 days or so, where it's almost impossible to walk the streets without being high-fived by a local. This is the third and final pool game in Oita, but the house full sign will be going up again next weekend with two quarterfinals taking place in this 40,000-seat stadium. Taiko drums have been beating loud all afternoon long under the roof. OK, here's how they look in Pool D. And with just a few games remaining, it is Australia, a top for the moment. Fiji still ruining, ruining rather that missed opportunity against Uruguay and Wales with the opportunity to leapfrog the Wallabies tonight with a win. I'm Sean Maloney, and it is great to have you with us for a game that could see Wales all but lock up a quarter-final spot. Alongside me is a man who's been there, done that at a World Cup. All Blacks legend Andrew Mertens. Mertz, the Welsh have well and truly arrived. Yes, good evening everyone. They certainly have. They've descended upon Oita where the New Zealanders and Australians have left. It's been an, meant an uptick in consumption both of beer and of soothing after sun lotion, of course, because the temperature has been warm up until tonight and Wales will be under no illusions here. They know that Fiji has come here to play their World Cup final and they won't be caught unawares. Just the two changes made by Welsh coach Warren Gatlin for this fixture. They're well rested after their big win against the Wallabies at Tokyo Stadium. Andrew Burton's take us through their lineup. Yes, well, the front row gets its third consecutive start together. The props are Thomas Francis and Wynne Jones, while Ken Owens becomes the first Welsh number two to play 70 tests. A milestone as well in the middle row where Alan Wynne Jones becomes the fourth most capped international player ever. He's alongside Nali Jake Ball. Some rotation in the back row where Josh Navidi moves to number six. Ross Moriarty comes in at eight. And it's a World Cup debut for open side flanker James Davis. Once again, the experienced duo of Gareth Davis and Dan Bigger will drive the team from the halves. There's experience in the midfield. Inside centre Hadley Parks turned 32 last Saturday, while Jonathan Davis is playing his 11th season of international rugby. Josh Adams has made line breaker plenty in his first World Cup. The back three contains further brilliance in the form of George North and Liam Williams. Well, so on the bench, Reese Kerr is the youngest in the Welsh squad, at just 21 years of age, and potentially make his World Cup debut tonight. Well, the Welsh are very well supported, but well, the Japanese have taken a real shining to the underdogs on show. That means Fiji have plenty of fans in the house too. It is Bulvanaka to those of you watching down in the Pacific as well on the island of Fiji and on the outer islands also. You need your men to aim up big time tonight. Just the one change made by that man, John McKee, for this clash after Fiji rattled home against Georgia to post a huge bonus point win. And this is how they line up tonight. Yes, they'll be hoping to continue after refinding their mojo against Georgia. Both props are currently on the lookout for club contracts. So Campesi Mafu and Manasa Saulu will have done themselves no harm. Hooker Sam Matavisi. The second row contains the bulk of Big Tavita Thabumbati with the athleticism of Leone Nakarawa. Captain Don Wangani Barotu is in number six, while his back row buddies Semi Kunatani and Vili Mata both have Olympic Rugby Sevens gold medals. Frank Lamani in number nine scored a try and had a strong game against Georgia. Likewise, Ben Volavola, whose goal kicking will be important again tonight. The player known as Demolition Man, Lavani Mbotia, is in the number 12 jersey, while centre Waisae Nayathalevu has scored a try in both matches he's played in this World Cup. Semi Randrandra has some of the best attack statistics in the tournament. On the other wing is Joshua the Bus Tuisova, and at fullback in his third World Cup, Kenny Murimurivalu. And the threats keep coming from the bench as well, in particular, Pathela Yato. So it's a New Zealand legend upstairs in the form of Andrew Merton. Sideline is Melody Robinson. Mel, the Welsh have arrived big time. Absolutely, and I think the beauty of being in a contained stadium like this is that we'll hear some heavenly tunes tonight. 
Hundreds of Welsh fans have invaded the city of Oita. They've been greeted by the sunshine as you see it. It's been an absolute cracker today. They've primed their vocal cords at the local karaoke establishments. Hopefully they'll be ready to roll up some classics as we all know they can. Mind you, let's not forget the Fijians of their fans are well versed in hymns and harmony as well. Melodies all round. This is a look at the captain's coin toss from a little earlier. Lands in favour of Dom's Wangarin Grotu and Fiji will kick off and they will run left to right as Jerome Gar says just gets the GPS coordinates right. Yep, that all checks out. We're good to go. Well, this city has well and truly embraced the Rugby World Cup. The red jerseys of the Welsh fans last Wednesday, it was the red of Canada who are on hand to cheer their men against New Zealand. Weekend guy, it was Australia v Uruguay, but tonight is all about Paul D. It's all about Wales v Fiji. Can Fiji replicate their upset win of 2007 World Cup v the Welsh? Well, they're certainly capable of it, and Wales know that, and they will be really battening down the hatches. They want to keep the ball off these big, talented runners. If Fiji can blend that blistering attack from six days ago with the control and the focus they showed against Wallabies in the opening weekend, they certainly have the ability to burst Wales's bubble. Well, after being stung in 2007 in France, Wales bounced back with two huge World Cup wins against Fiji. 2011, they ran away with it 66 to nil. And they were far too good in 2015 as well. 23-13 full time in that matchup. So Fiji, they have to win with a bonus point to try and force an unlikely quarterfinals appearance now after slipping up against Uruguay in Kama Ishi. But they have shown in patches throughout this tournament they are capable of scintillating rugby. So too these men who delivered one of their best performances in the country's history against, against the Wallabies last week. Speaking of Wales, for a repeat tonight. So Wales, the Fiji in just a moment. First up though, it'll be the beating of the Taiko drums in Oita. Test players in the history of rugby. Urging pass, George Gregan. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the national anthems of Wales and Fiji. So, we have a new team, Kokka no Enso. Wales Kokka ni tsuite, Fiji Kokka no Enso to Narimas.
much emotion on the faces there of the Fijians. That's just the anthem, and now time for the Thimbi. The atmosphere electric under the roof in Oita, and about to get cranked out a little bit more. Game on. It's deafening here in Oita. They are ready to go. Ah, Fiji. They have to win. They have to win with a bonus point to stay alive in the hunt for a quarter-final spot. John McKee, the Fijian boss, has ticked every box available. So too has Warren Gatlin with Wales. Kickoff just two minutes away. Well, just as we saw Fiji do after the game against the Wallabies in the opening round, after the Thimby, just heading back to their own try line, Andrew Mertens, and just collecting themselves. Yes, well, both teams know how the timetable works, don't they? They know exactly how much time. The Thimby is a little bit quicker than some of the other cultural challenges. They're in and out and done, and then both teams get the chance to go away and have a little bit of a breather. Of course, that's a very stirring Welsh national anthem straight up. Hen Lud for had I the land of my fathers. It's absolutely incredible hearing that belted out in Cardiff, but all around the world. There's a real sense of anticipation around this clash. There's something in the air on the island of Kyushu. We are around about 90 minutes by plane from Tokyo. Heading southwest. And Fiji, they are going to have to come out firing on all to be any hope of downing this ultra impressive Welsh outfit. Yes, they were bitterly disappointed, of course, with that Uruguay result. What can they do? It's done and dusted now. Had a chat to Tumbai Matson, one of the coaching staff, before the game. He said, all they're focused on, this is their final. This is their chance to do something really memorable at the tournament. Jerome Garces is our referee for this matchup. G V Wales on the big top in Oita. It's Paul D play and it's Wales taking the kickoff from Ben Vola Vola. Just past their 22. Davis with the box kick sends it downtown. Collects Murumuri Valu. Murumuri Valu with his charge back towards bigger. Yes, sir. He had some help there from George and all. Vola Vola. Has it out in front for Mata. Quick the cycle there from Lamani. Now they get their noses through the line here, Fiji, and it's a good, hard opening break from the captain, Wangani Barotu. They go short side. Mbutia. Mbutia steps on it, keeps it alive, but now it runs into touch. But a little glimpse there, Melody Robinson, of the threat. Uh, Mbutia uh, and the hard running back rows. 100%. This is a team that breaks tackles. They top so many statistics in this competition when it comes to attack line breaks and meters made as well. Lovely clean tape at the top from Moriarty. Navidi with a carry. Opening the angle up here. Back is. Jonathan Davis looking for touch. Won't get it this time round. Take it in by Tui Sova. And now swing it to the midfield. 
Munui Valley up okay. over halfway. Red offside. The nearly penalty advantage being played here for Fiji. Wales offside, well. and we're heading a long way back. Sorry, to wait, wait. Five metres from the. Right back into the 22, and little Seven. doubt that this will be a first opportunity offside. for Ben Volavola. They threw it Seven. very deep, Wales, to Jonathan Davis to clear. He didn't find touch. Anyone He's who was in front of him who advances Seven. before being put on side. Was clearly Keep infringing. Four to gathering around. Scrum. Oh, they did a hey. lot of warm up, mini scrum put downs in so in front before the, the game for around about 20 minutes. Fijians. And I think Fiji's really expecting Wales to kick a lot and they're positioning their players back in great positions. They're giving license to run back. Let's have a look at where the penalty came. I think he's called James Davis for advancing, and of course it was Davis who made Muri Muri Valu go back on the inside and affected the attack. And this is a, a big call early on, isn't it, to, to have a go with the scrum? Well, they know what they've got to do, Fiji. They've got to come out firing, and that's what they're trying to create here. Five away from the Welsh line, Lamani with a feed. It's a good strike as well. And they lock it low, Lamani. Shapes short side and heads that direction, just pops a run off to the tank. Tui Sova, Tui Sova! Joshua, Tui Sova, how's he done it? They call him the pass, we might need an upgrade to the tank. He has left a trail of destruction behind one on one. Has he got five for Fiji? On Finn, this year needs a try, but check foot in touch and the running. Please. So the on-field calls a try. Either way, it's an incredible effort from Tui Sova. So much work to do. He's gone over the top of Adams, who's not lacking in courage. Dan Bigger gets across, and Navidi. And it's almost to right. right. No way! Wow. No way! Somehow, Joshua Tui Sova cleans up three on his way towards the line. Melanie Robinson, how do you like that? I like that, I like that a lot. He's like a bowling ball down the bowling alleyway. This was a brilliant tactical move, wasn't it? The scrum giving him a chance to take on. The defense takes out three and beautiful balance of precision just to get it before his feet or legs go out. Unbelievable effort, wasn't it? They had the whole back line standing out the other way, Fiji. You got a guy on the other side like Randrandra. They're all devastating runners. No subtlety about it. Throw it to, to his solver. Good luck, son. Bolivola. From the far right touch line. No breeze to deal with. Has been hitting them well across the tournament. Volavola. There's the angle. Ben Volavola gets a strike on and hangs out to the right. So it stays. Fiji 5, Wales yet to score. Like I say, he got the ball early. There was no subtlety at all. And he's just put his head and his arms and everything else down. The control at the end and the tackle of Navidi to get across. Incredible. As the restart from Bigger. Lovely hands. And now a call quickly, Fiji. Handling has been crisp early on. Very happy to put it through the hands. There's Weiss. Now the Levu. Bola Bola. Feed of Nakarawa. Just buying enough time there for his side to get in and help. They take possession, ball, ball with a dummy. Shaped the kick. We've got a nice ball away for Umbatia. Pulled out of it there, Wales. Now Volvola swings back to the left. Out the back it goes. Held up. In fact, lost. North goes in. Up he goes. And away he goes. He feeds Navidi. We're coming back. Jerome Gar says he's got a couple of issues. He's looking to his assistant ref. 11, we check. 
Yes, I think there's a knock on in the build up from the world tackler. Check it, just to be yeah. He's called it very early, Jerome uh, Garcia. Skinny on field decision, knock on by Red on the tackle. But please double check. Yeah, we're going to show you footage right now, Jerome, yeah. of a clear knock on by Red. Okay. Okay, we'll show you footage now. Yeah. Knock on, eh? It's clear. It's a clear knock-on by Red. There you go. Ben Skin, TMO, suggests the knock-on, and Garces agrees. So Fiji saved the knock on their by team. Red. You've got to say, it looked fairly obvious at the time, but I think Garces yeah. was just obscured by a couple of players. If they'd got that ball away, Fiji, if Muri Murivalu had Good. just popped that it's slightly clear. quicker, they had an overlap. They're really looking potent at the moment. At Good, the same time, uh, the Welsh defence here actually adapted to the wide play that Fiji are looking at playing right now. Mel, this time last week we were here for New Zealand, Canada. The humidity was about 40, 50 percent up on what it is tonight. Absolutely. The temperature in the city has dropped considerably just in the last couple of days. So we're finally able to breathe and this is better conditions for rugby, no doubt. Amani just sends it away to... Leave it down! Punchy runner that is, semi under under Mata, he carries nicely as well. Wales caught out of it again. All the possession early on with Fiji. Bola Bola strike this one. Downtown trying to catch Liam Williams out of position. He reads it nicely and carries back to shallow. Up and under. Gets a chase on now, loses it. And that presents the ball back to Fiji. Minutes Silky ball other side to Randranger. Reconnects on the inside. It's Lamani. It's Lamani going in. Try Fiji. Well, a poor kick from Liam Williams by his standards, and Fiji pounced. Had a suspicion there was a forward pass there. Doesn't look like they're going to go back. Well, maybe they yeah. are. He's called timeout yeah. now. Gar says, I think they're going to find it was forward. Yeah. Now that all took place me. right in front of you. What was your thought like? Mate, I'm not a TMO. I don't want anyone to you tell me off it? if I get it wrong. It's okay. But it's you can have a swing. It's right in front of you. <laughs> it's line ball. It's definitely line ball. Skinny. They'll have a look at if the ball uh, has travelled backwards, yeah. I'm sure. We need to check two things. I want to check potential foul play. Yeah. But the first thing we need to look at is the pass which is clearly forward. Okay. So that is the pass. There's no try. Oh, that's less forward than the other one. Yeah, but look at where he received it. Well in but front now of we need to check potential yeah, foul one. play. I just speak with the captain. Uh-oh. So it will be no try, clear for pass. OK, now we want, yeah, we want to check the foul play. OK. Yeah. Well, for mine. So now, Skinny. For mine, for yeah, what it's worth, that was forward that pass for forward. starters. But I don't think he's gone low here and he's just flipped over. There's nothing deliberate about that. He's not holding on to him, even. It's like he's tripped over him. So we need to review the angles of two red. Go, yeah. go. So it's Ken Owens, the man who is in the frame here, and that's not really where you want to be. Okay. Um, Down by five inside the first the hand. Like Middle of shot. Uh, the technique's not great, is it? So, by the speed of the of the white player, in my view, by the speed of the white player, we have uh, the player who lift and the white player land on his back. Are you okay? Yep. That yeah. is correct. Okay. So, in my view, it will be a yellow card against two red. Are you okay, guys? Yep. Skinny, are you okay? I agree with you. Okay. So, no, it's, it's, it's fine, okay? It's fine. No, 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 I, I said to him. So there is a dangerous tackle by number two red. So it will be a penalty and yellow card. And after the reason, four, captain is clear. There is a four pass by Y, so no try. Penalty Fiji, yellow card. what's my problem? I don't want to know. Sorry? Is he trying to release him? reason why it's a yellow card? Because the speed, because the speed of the player. But after, it's about safety. It's dangerous, that one. Yeah, it's dangerous. 
So two dangerous tackle. And wow. after four pass here. So we come back here for the Ken penalty. Owens is off for 10 minutes. Yeah, that's not going to help Wales, is it? They were struggling to contain these Fijians with 15, let alone now, yeah. down to 14. So the Lamani try comes from the Dangerous scoreboard, but Four pass. Ken Owens' name goes up with a yellow dot next to it. Good job, guys. Jerome Gar says, in coordination with Ben Skeen, the TMO. Good job, guys. Now with the no hooker open, please. at the open. front of the line out, I wonder if they'll look to attack there. PG. Well, they do have a nice trick move at the front of the line that they use against Uruguay. So they go back to it here. In the hands of Maravesi. Maravesi goes to the front. They keep it tight. Now they drive hard. Wales do an excellent job, though, collapsing it legally. It's just going to squeeze out the back for Lamani. Luxart has Nakarawa, one off. Highlight of yellow boots, Nakarawa. Punching past the first up tackle. Now Bigger goes in, he's called out. Lamani. Lamani, a touch isolated there. Now, forced into the pot ball, up off the ground for Tex. Babumbati. Lamani. Vola Vola. Out the back away. for Rondrondra. Rondrondra, lovely ball over the top from C. Rondrondra. Mumu Valu, Mumu Valu, what a way. Mumu Valu, he's over, he's over. Mumu Valu gets it through and gets it down. Oh, well, how much are those people over that side of the field paid for their tickets? They are getting their money's worth in the first 10 minutes. They've done it again, Fiji. Power and speed, a beautiful pass from Rondrondra and plenty of work from Muri Muri Valu. And in the end, he's scrambled over the line, wasn't held. Incredible effort, Mel. Absolutely a lot of work done in the middle of the field, too. Nakarawa involved there, but Randrandra, probably the Welsh defence, thought he'd take the line on, but instead he did a lovely pass out there where they've got strike weapons out wide everywhere, this Fijian team. What a way to finish this. Impressive work, Fiji, so far early in this game. Yeah, it was a great ball from Randrandra, as we just see the end of it there. Wasn't held, Muri Muri Valu. So able to not crawl, but quickly get up and dive across. Well, they're looking the goods. Well, they looked the goods against Australia in the first 50 minutes of that match, too. And they had injury to one of their standout players coming off the number seven. It was Yato, and then Australia just really put the board on them. And then against Uruguay, they had changed their team around so much and just didn't find this kind of rhythm. Now, this is the Fiji we know and love. Vola Vola was away to the right with his first strike at the poles. Almost identical part of the field this time around. He sends it on its way, and it's out the same direction. It remains Fiji 10, Wales 0. To see how they yeah, but run with the ball in two hands so the defence is in two minds about whether it will be passed to that powerful right winger or not. Happy days. It is if you are a Fijian fan. Wales deep down to Mayatha Levu. Runs up and bumps into Wynne Jones. Leave it, leave it! Red, the ball is here. Okay, back. Look happy just to keep rolling the dice from across the park, Fiji. I'll let their props carry it from deep inside their 22 as well. Now Bolabola looking to settle. Pass back to his 22, so he... To knock it up the middle of the park down to Liam Williams. He goes over to Davis, and that one's knocked on. That right by Josh Adams. Right touch. Yeah, Adams probably a little bit surprised the ball even made its way out to him. Wales haven't had a lot Captain. of possession in the first 10 Stop minutes, and it was a good decision by Liam Williams. They had a few numbers on the left there, Wales, and I think Adams was starting to just come in 
on that switch. Maybe could have stayed out. A limited ball they're getting at the moment. They need to make use of it, Wales. Incredible stat there already, isn't it? 22 tackles made versus two. Super grab there from Nakarawa. Pulls it down and again. They look to keep it tight. From the line out, Fiji. Lamani. Oliver now edging it up the park via the boot. Yeah. Sends it deep. Comes back his direction. Return catch of his kick. Vola Vola. Stay 14. Looking to get that a little closer to the touchline and cut down the angle. It's called Mark. It'll be a free kick for Wales. The interesting decision there. I'm not sure if he knew whether he had pressure on Dan Bigger because what's happened now is all his big forwards have had to run back to get behind him. Now they'll trot up again, presumably for the line out. No, 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 no. That's it. Just wiping some more seconds the off the clock with. Ken Owens off the park for 10 minutes after foul play. A very good point. Stay on the, on the line, Don't be if they just hold this ball in. Maul it, slowly grind their way upfield. Every time you turn over in a situation like this down a man, particularly against Fiji, is a no-no. Tani can't hang on, and that's a gift back to Wales, just inside their own half. Finally, we've gone away. At long around. last, Wales will have some decent field position to work from. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they need to, need to swap the yeah. forward in there. Is it Moriarty who's coming off, I think, now as, as Ken Owens is replaced? The scrum is really good. Oh, yeah, Dean coming on. Oh, yeah, Dean. They've got someone to actually take it up in the front row. Possession currently running is good, eh? 79 to 21 percent in Fiji's favour. They've made all the running and are up by two unconverted tries. Mistake, sorry. Moriarty still in there at eight, of course. It was young James Davis who's come off. And Jonathan Davis's brother, his older brother, goes in to take his position on the flank. Crush! Sit! Feed and go short side from Davis, and he's kicked off by Lamani. Good tackle from Lamani, and now he's in a touch. They are dialed in early on, Fiji. No, no, yeah, but that no, option no. to go by himself, probably not Red the right on the one, even though he's on the lane. extremely on the lane. quick, Davis. Yeah, on the lane, please. He was covered by the Red defense. On the lane. Yeah, on the lane. Davis there, his fellow oh. halfback. And Marty's identified that he's an absolute oh, threat around rucks oh. and also at the scrum area, but he on the line, took him out easily. Red. Yeah, well, he was short of wing mill, wasn't he? Because Adams Red had gone out line, to Captain. provide another number out in the back line when Davis went on the scrum. So no winger there for Gareth Davis, probably a lack of communication. Stay. Nakarawa, the go to at line Stay. out time again. Tucked under, and now they peel away through Matabesi. Sam Matabesi, good feet from Matabesi, the hooker. Touch isolated, and he gets picked off. Wows. And the possession back. Parks is hammered! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Big Billy Marta comes flying, and T-Bones, Hadley Parks, and that has lifted Fiji that little bit more. Yeah, that ball just floated tantalizingly did it didn't it the pass from adams watch it here it just sits up boom well, we've seen Mata do that on the sevens field quite a few times those massive big hits Hux was probably thinking don't pa don't pass it to me well, he's, a, he's a tough customer hadley parks though isn't he and yes. nothing like making you feel alive wait, wait. i guess <laughs> i've heard <laughs> in that sort of a situation wait, ouch well, that is textbook. If you move, Actually, Fiji's next time it will be a free kick. I, I put your mark on you and you move. All of those basic aspects of the game, they don't give away a lot of penalties at all. 
Yeah, what do you want, Skinny? Uh, Jerome, at that last penalty, yeah. we just need to show you the actions on the clean-out, please. Yeah. Dangerous clean-out. Okay. This is white number four. Okay. Okay, there is a... F it's on his upper back, Jerome. On the back? Yes. Okay. So, for me, what I saw on the big screen, it's a shoulder charge by number four on the back, so it will be penalty and yellow card. That number is four. correct. Yeah. Captain? Captain Red, please. Yeah. You call number four, please. So there is a, a clear, it's clear, there is a clear shoulder charge yeah. on the back of the red player, so it will be a yellow card against you for shoulder charge. Okay? And now, Captain, stay with me. Okay. So. Text. It's a 60 minutes. He's off for 10 as well. I absolutely cursed them, didn't I, when I started talking about their discipline. Play. Okay? So now we, we, you must speak about discipline, about foul play. Okay? Sorry? Yeah. I give you 30 seconds. Speak about this. Just at the breakdown, when you blow over, when you've got one of the Welsh players no, over the Just ball wait. like that, May, you know, not so long ago, that was no, very no, no, much no. a normal part of the game, so it's a hard adjustment for these players to make. Wait, it's almost wait, like you have to slow yourself down when you get to that breakdown and actually pull them off as opposed to hitting them with your shoulders. Melody, I'll stay with you on this one. For kids watching on at home, what should they be doing in that situation? You have to slow down, get low, and probably reduce your speed when you're hitting in. Certainly not target anywhere around the head and neck, and try and just get under the person. Very difficult, though. It's really also the risk responsibility to make no, sure the that there are not here. players lying no, over the ball the defensive team please. that keep is. Yeah, well, that's a good point. I was going to bring my cynical nature to that and say he shouldn't have been there in the first place. He wasn't keeping his feet, but you do have to not tuck your shoulders or tuck your arm in to make it a shoulder charge. The words there of two-time World Cup winner, Reddy Robinson, two-time World Cup rep, Andrew Mertens as well. Wales with field position out, Parks, trying to blow his way through. First time they've carried inside the Fiji in 22 is Davis. Davis. 10 out. Short side. Up for ball. Strong carry from ball. They go short again and get men around. Win Jones. He's propped and stopped. Two away. Davis. Happy to send it out the back. Bigger. Bigger. Seeing it across the park with the kick in his. Pinpoint, it's pure, it's in the arms of Josh Adams, and the kick pass brings points once more for Wales. It's a good turnaround for Josh Adams. He's had a tough time over on that left wing with Fijians getting space and time and scoring both their tries down his end. And he was clinical there. I thought the kick from Bigger might have just held up a little too much and given Ben Volleyball a time to get across. But Josh Adams timing his run and his jump absolutely perfectly. It's a great try for Wales. It is, and Ben Vullivilla will ask himself, should I competed for the ball in the air or shall I have just stopped, waited and made the tackle? Wouldn't have mattered because he still had an inside support player, did Adams. Great work from Wales. Yeah, tough ask for Vullivilla, wasn't it? He had to turn and run straight to get there rather than backpedalling to get there in time and then have to turn around and keep track of where the ball was. He was up against it with Adams having a good view of it the whole way and timing his jump perfectly. Okay. you number two and number seven, no? Yeah, it's fine. So Wales looking to punish Fiji that little bit more now with Tex Thubambadi off the path. Bigger, oh, he just flushes it through. 
10-7. And the Welsh fans find their voice. Such an exciting part of the game now, isn't it? These kick passes. Be happy on the sideline, the Daffodils. No Daffodils. Temple. He'll be happier now, won't he? This man there. That's a good try. Volavola down towards Moriarty. He sends it back and they will kick to touch. Be careful, eh? Brought in by Muruvalu. Volavola. A bunch of his forwards are up in front of him, so he has to give chase for them all. Onside, lovely ball from Bigger. Connected well there with Williams. He's pinned by Kunatani. Bigger. Owens back on the park. Delivering that look forward. Play on the call initially, and now we head back to the mark. It will be a Fijian scrum yeah. feed. Yeah, some quick hands there at times, really needed. Those missiles suddenly coming in at a great velocity. Just look at the timing from Williams there, and I think he was talking really early to Dan Bigger, letting him know he was on the inside. Really good. Might have landed awkwardly too, and here's the quick pass on from Parks. Looked a lot worse, of course, because he was getting hit in the tackle at the same time, so he went backwards. Meanwhile, the ball's still in front of him, out in front. <laughs> tackle number two. It's interesting, Wales went wide there because actually they had that Fijian defence really scrambling Nine. and pushing across, and there were quite a few holes just back in the middle of the park, which is the place that we usually expect Wales to play. Time on. Guys. Really Liam Williams scrum. has made his way really back into pick. position. I think he was trying to suggest there One. something of a swinging arm. May have been why he stayed down a little deliberately. I'm not saying he was milking it, but uh, it's always nice to get the referee's attention to something that you feel you deserve. To be fair, more often not, you stay down when you're hit by one of these Fijian players. A hit like sledgehammers. And the team looking for more work here this time. An attack. The Welsh chant goes up for the first time. Strike. A quick ball for Volavola. Skip pass to Martha Lever. Can't hang on. And now it's side ahead by Bigger. Back they go. Mata is there to tidy up for Fiji. Holds his feet well. And now Wales pile in. They look to be off their feet though. And now they're called away from it. Volavola. Risky ball across the park of Rundrundra. Rundrundra almost busting another tackle. Martha Lever in there to help clean up. Happy to surrender meters here, Fiji. Live it five. to get back in the pocket. Look for touch. Twelve. Five. They're missing, the man. They're missing the second rower. They're missing Lavambati. Lamani will box kick. Touch. That was touch. Now Randrandra can come through and put the shot on, and he does just that. More heavy contact from Semi Randrandra. We'll get their line set here though, Fiji, that outnumbered out wide, and that's the way that Wales start to head now. Davis puts it in behind for Navidi. Volavola is back and misses it. Volavola, it got ugly on him, and now it's still with Wales, but into touch. Just pulled up lane there, Volavola, no, on no, the cover no, no. work. I don't think he's no. at 100. No, it was a very tricky ball to try and handle back there. It popped up into the air high enough to take just before he got there and then the next bounce was just along the track Come with me with the ten. and then he took the full force of Navidi ten. chasing through I promise you brilliant variation the last time I to speak from Wales oh, you just saw you could see awesome. the defense yeah, was up and there was that lovely little hole with the chases on brilliant work really Navidi Looks like he might have winded himself, perhaps, on how he fell on the ball. He sort of just checked himself running through to try and get it. He's OK. Vola, vola. But now they have to muscle up in defence. 
He yeah, just landed on the ball and then he took Navidi fully on his legs, didn't he? Insult to injury. Of course, there's not much fat on the modern player, not much padding there when you land on the ball. Not, like the, old, not like the old days <laughs> no. with the first five same hurts. The incidents of getting winded are much more regular. Moriarty brings it down in the middle. Happy to try and drive through with their rolling mole here. Wales, Owens has it at the back. Penalty advantage here for Wales, they're well formed. It fractures, now with bigger. He goes to the boot again, this time around it's a touch flatter, and it is dead in goal. We're going back for the penalty to Wales. You lose your mind to tackle the player. Five. TG just didn't put enough numbers in that defensive line out in terms of stopping that ball. Just a little bit too far, a little bit heavy. Perfect for his reserves, Dan Bigger. Not quite for Hadley Parks. And while I've still you got 14 lying, men, but that's well, up against 14 men, sorry, while I've got a numerical yeah. advantage, yeah. Wales, yeah. they don't want to take the points. Yeah. Ram home the advantage. There is a man who was given 10 for foul play, Tex Davambati, playing in his second World Cup. I'll be sure do with him at scrum time right now. Close! A number eight here, Fiji. Mine. Have they got enough muscle to hang in there with this well scrum? At the perfect angle. Initially they hold it and now it goes down. Penalty advantage still with Wales. Moriarty heals away with it. Davis looking up, looking for runners. Bigger puts it in behind again this time around. It's grabbed and we're going back Binging to where the scrum infringement was made by Fiji. And it's another Welsh penalty. Yeah, Fiji wise to those Binging very kicking white. options of Dan Bigger now. George North is going mad out on the wing here. He had so much width, he was right on the sideline. And he thought perhaps that kick could have come wide to him. Just too much pressure there for Fiji. Almost lost control of it here, Wales. At the back. Moriarty did well, and then Hadley Parks getting into clean there. I'm going to try it again this time, Fiji. Run without a number eight. Coming up through the backs. We're hoping their big men can lock it down Seven. and repel the thrust of Wales. It comes. It's strong from Wales. It's Messi Nisai. Kunitani. Davis. Davis with it at the back. Moriarty for Davis. Pings it across the field. Is it another one for Josh Adams or is he no. in a touch? This is a no try. Could you touch? Yeah, good check. Yeah. That's a great tackle from two solver. Yes, Gerard. So we play an advantage here for Red. Um, Romain on field decision, no try, foot in touch. Can you confirm, please? Yeah, two solver got low and he had a lot of power behind him. There it is there. Oh, yes. Could be some timing there, couldn't it? Wow. Melody Robinson, your thoughts, please. Oh, I knew you would ask me that. Uh, it's so close. Yeah. The, the, the thing is, with the on-field decision of it, no try, I think it means if it's simultaneous, they, they can't overrule it. Is that yeah, right? Just be careful, Skinny, about uh, just before if the right. player touch a white line, you know, just before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Garcia Here. says it happens right there. It's almost as though he's uh, not after feet went back oh. across the second, chalk. Yeah. Just here, there it is at, there yeah. it is at. Yeah. A little a little dusting, perhaps, of chalk on the left boot there of Josh Adams. 
Well, only millimetres in it, isn't there? Uh, Jerome, I'm going to... Uh, yeah. I'm just skinny. For us, on-field decision here. We cannot, uh, we cannot decide. So what's your view on this? Uh, Jerome, I'm going to show you the angle where the player's foot is in touch. Yeah. Right at the very start. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the one from Ben Skeen. He's nailed that. It's, well, it's so here. Just there. here. Yeah. Roll back. Roll back. It's exactly what Jerome Gus says, wasn't it? See, wasn't just it? Give me okay. Yeah, and there is a yeah. millimetre or two in there. And we have an uh, angle there from reverse that also shows the player's foot is in touch okay. at that point. Well done. Great job because it's a difficult Very one. tight. Yeah, well done. So, Captain. It's a difficult one. Okay. No, we don't need to check the... Guys. Okay, we don't need to check anything because after many angles, so the TMO, foot in touch, no try. We come back here for penalty against one white. Okay, on the scrum. Yeah, on the, on the final. Captain, two penalty on the row against one white. So now no more. Hey, we got penalty. So no will they try. be satisfied with taking the three points here, Wales, or will they try it on in the scrum again? I think you'd have another scrum, wouldn't you? Because no, Fiji, yeah. well, Fiji run the risk of a yellow card if they don't get the scrum defence right. The reaction there of Armin Jones, the Welsh legend, when Dom's in front of Rotu was saying, what about the pass before? It's like, hang on a second. That's the least of the issues here. So, obviously, we have Babu Mbate back, and before this match, during this World Cup, Fiji, of course, 100% on their own scrum. This is an area they are strong at. And if you are Welsh, what would you give to have Shane Williams on the wing again? Legs are about a foot shorter, feet are two sizes smaller. Crouch! May not have been in touch. <laughs> Nine! <laughs> All right, Nine. back to the scrum we go. Sit! 15 v 15 once more, and this time around, Fiji hold firm. Davis looking short side and going to Davis. Davis, Jonathan Davis, but Adams getting close. Oh, he's so close. Still with Wales. Ball having a look. Alan Wynn Jones is the next man to line up. Has Owens on his tail, Navidi as well. PG collapsing on the, on the spot though. Keep the line! Keep the line! Gareth Davis looking for options. Again, they hold their feet Wales. They're so good at this. Keep the line! The execution in time. Keep the line! Wait! The phases keep running up. At five now, and there is the five who gets cream. It was another huge shot. Touch offside there, Kunitani, and that is the call. Just lost his feet trying to set the line. So, more penalty advantage to work with here for Wales. Gareth Davis, bigger, bigger, floats it long to Williams, who cuts back in fit. Williams, knocked over by Randa Andra. Flew in off his wing. Not many get past Semi, bigger. Out in front for Owens, dummy, and he's dropped by Naga Balevu. Parks goes in, you can hear it through the effects, Mike. Bang! No, no, no! Seven one. Fiji no. aren't missing with their defensive shots, Seven. but they have infringed again, and I think we might have another offside. card. Four penalty. Mm. Seven offside. Four penalty. No, it was just an unfortunate slip from Semi Kunitani, which means Four penalty, clear they're back side. again to 14 men. Well, I don't think it was a slip. I think that he was trying to get up and yeah. speed, but mistimed his start. Hey, yeah, I've got to say I'm dubious on that. Seven. Two of those four penalties were in the scrum, and I can understand a third penalty in a scrum leads to a yellow replay, card. Replay. Wales, apart from this first phase, they weren't going forward. That was so close by Josh Adams. But Wales weren't going forward. So it wasn't really a cynical offside. I've got to say he's a bit unlucky there, but there's the head clash on Alan Wynn Jones. He'll be seeing stars, and I suspect that'll be a, a head examination, won't it? Head injury examina uh, assessment. <laughs> if he wants to stay out there after that, I'd want to assess his head. <laughs> 
on that decision as well. <laughs> this is just showing you how physical this game is. A number of players just getting attention from the medics. Hits well, some massive, aren't they? Here's another look at the offside penalty, and it is Semi Kunitani. Yeah. Oh, that's a touch after the fact. Yeah. yeah, I think he did try and readjust himself back to the line, didn't yeah. he? But it just forced Gareth Davis yeah. into the little stop before delivering the pass, and Jerome Gale says, says that's going to cost you. Ten. That's going to cost you 10 in the bin. Okay. And again, penalties given away by teams Good under chance. pressure behind their 22 Good like that. It has also been a part of the game Keep for the picture. a very long time. Well, this is where they found themselves under pressure in the scrum, Fiji, depowered by a man. So this is a huge effort here, which means that if the flankers on the sides of the scrum are having to put full effort into the scrum just to hold out Wales, they're not going to be available to be as quick off Bye. to defend against the backs. Set. Gareth Davis feeds. Moriarty goes quick this time. Two Davis on the switch. He goes. It's a set piece. Play that takes him two out. Parks is in there trying to get over the top. Driven back. Fiji somehow repelling Wales again. Ball looking for a carry. Gets it. Gets dropped. Close to the six now. Davis so dangerous there. Up for Alan Wynne Jones. They have huge numbers across to the left. Can they clear it here, Wales? It's slow coming out. Owens. Owens spinning towards the line. Did he lose it? Somehow hangs on, pulls it back. Bigger. Across the line they go. Davis shuffles it along and gets it to Josh Adams, who has his second. Your wonderful hands. Under pressure from the Welsh at the end. Clinical finish and a bit of a canter across the line for Adams. But they've built up over several phases, Wales, and Fiji just not having enough numbers in the end. Welsh reconstituted their line and got the numbers out there, and Fiji not able to react. Good hands. They still had to get it out to Josh Adams. Nice, beautiful, soft hands from Jonathan Davis on the inside. Absolutely. All that grunt work done up the front. Phase after phase, just meant that Fiji had to work hard and keep their numbers in close because the powerful boys were just so close to the try line. And then bang, out the edge, and this boy's waiting. It's a, it's a <coughs> great example of just the subtlety of body language, isn't it? That last pass from Jonathan Davis, just straightening up and angling in, enough for Tui Sova to think, I, I can't afford to leave this guy. I've got to take him, otherwise he's over. <laughs> His last shot at the woodwork was absolutely spot on. Bigger again. Bigger. That one as straight as the first. And it's Wales hitting the lead. to Mbua coming on, going for Mbutia, who looks like he's suffering from an injury just with that limp there. Mbutia's a bit of a loss, he's a great turnover exponent. 14-10 the score. Wales up, down to Moriarty, trying to kick past Rundra under there. It's a rare miss from Semi. No. One. Gareth Davis. No, one. Getting, getting good the contact one, there one with the box it's kick. Not, down to yeah, Volavola. Mumuru Balu. Already has one try in this contest. Helps set up a 10 0 lead with Joshua Tui Sova, who scored one of the individual tries of the tournament. Taking three with him. There's a good carry from Saula. Right on halfway. Now the penalty for Fiji. 
Five at three. Pass, that run momentum in favour of Wales. Five, not swings away. back. You, you don't just, just a your little bit to the Fijians. Well, they haven't had the ball for a while, Fiji, have they? And Jerome Garcia has finally pinged the Welshman for going off their feet and sealing off that ball. And Fiji will get a chance, which hasn't happened in a while, just to get deep into that Welsh half and yeah. build some phases. And you have to say again, Fiji, when they kick the ball off to Wales, Wales have that pattern where they'll set the first ruck and then they'll kick the box kick over. Fiji has worked that out really well. They've got four players back there ready to run the ball up and then another set up. Down an option with Semikunatani off the park. Slightly looking for Nakarawa here. He's in the middle, up he goes. Down to Lamani. Polabola has to hold the run, looking for run to Andre Kundra. Not Oli, Wales. Oh, Oli. He tried to. He, no, he tried to keep the ball. Oli scrum. It's okay, Tim. There's a lot of talk out there to the referee. Discipline now. Is Fiji appealing for perhaps yeah. a, a deliberate knock on? Volavola set off, not knowing. He, he'd actually done so effectively. The pass was so good that he was actually in line with James Davis there. So the pass inside that was planned to run Drandra, Davis just got in nicely and was able to pollute. A no look pass there. Maybe a better call and having a little look, Volavola. It's easy to say from up here, isn't it? But uh, if he'd thrown that pass a little bit further, run Drandra. Might have caused some damage. Guys, beautiful open side line nice. too from Davis. Have to say, getting in the middle there and mucking it up. Was there of two-time nice. World Cup Stay winner here. Melody Robinson and Andrew Mertens. Seventy caps with the All Blacks. Randra Andra. He was on another level altogether against Georgia, helping them rattle home and post 38 second half points. Mine. Two tries, bunch Sit. of try assists as well. Can he get a handle here? Kunatani off the park, but the scrum holds strong. Good hands this time out there. Two is Sora again, who almost gets away once more. Romani. Bonavola, flat this time round for Tex Thubambati. Bonavola. That's the Batumbua, Batumbua. Caught down, it's good defence from Wales. Sending Fiji back. Bonavola looking to align his runners, where Andrandra is wrestling in tight. They creep up out wide, Wales. The captain, Andrandrotu. Just steadies. Volavola. This time out in front for Nakabawa. Volavola. Quick recycle in behind. It goes. Looking for Run Drundra. Semi Run Drundra. Almost hangs on, does he? No knock on. Desperate work from Semi Run Drundra. And they go back into the red zone here. It's a prop in midfield. Saulo looks up and says, I'll take it for a spin. No problems. But he's isolated. Wales. Over the top now, called out of it. Tuisova goes to cross the park and clearing it as well. Got it to Nayathalevu. Tidy work at the breakdown as well. Excellent involvement there from Tuisova. Manavesi. Sam Manavesi dummy. Vola Vola. Dummying. Bouncing back past the ref guard says and getting it back over the top. Oh, we're coming back. It's forward. It's forward. By the barest of margins, Mata can't believe it. No, marginally forward it. It's a really good call. And he probably didn't need to throw it that far forward. Mata was very, very, very flat. But I think even so, he showed what he can do as Vola Vola avoids referee Jerome Garcia. Probably didn't need to throw it that far forward. Again, easy in hindsight. Fiji looking dangerous again when they hold onto the ball. I think Volavola had to 
go back in that direction because the halfback Gareth Davies from Wales is just slipping up on that outside in kind of line looking for that intercept. He flies up. We've seen him get numerous intercepts and it also just forces the 10 even if he doesn't pass it to look for different options turn him back into the big traffic. Of course it's a bit of a double-edged sword pass. there because with Fiji they can probably create something out of nothing as they almost did. Chale Vatumbua. One of the park Keep for under two. Semi Kunatani. Olympic gold medalist out of the village of Nabayango. One of the most beautiful parts of the world up on the river. North of Singatoka. Well, of an to those of you watching on, watching your Olympic hero. There are four on display tonight from Fiji and one on the Welsh side as well. James Davis, Gross. an Olympic silver medalist. Mine! Set! Fed by Gareth Davis. Another way from Fiji looking to disrupt. Moriarty pulls away from the base and gets through as well. Looking to connect. Who's there to help out? Moriarty up over halfway. This could be telling. Wales were under the pump at scrum time and now working away through parts. Who loses? And Fiji swinging the action through two Silva, who slams his feet into the turf and bumps into a couple. Back. Wales creeping up. Rundra, run, run, deep. They've got to keep this one in the field of play. They are cooked, both sides. It has been exhausting stuff through 39 minutes of play. Can someone land four points right on half time? Courageous run from Williams. Cannon into three Fijian defenders. Why they go through parks? Moriarty, who helped put them in his part of the field. Now for Adams. Adams in a touch. Looking good. Yeah, desperate dive from Joshua Tuisola. He had to wait there for his captain. Wanga well, number two. What? As you no, say, Sean, saying. so many of these legs looking tired no. now. And Wanga number two getting his, doing his best to get across. And Tuisola had to cover two men there. And just that touch on the line denying no, Adams. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait for Big wait. Superman dive on that far side from Tui Silva. Been a huge effort from both these teams in the first 40. Yeah, yeah, time on. Number eight, Mato is just struggling back too, guys. We've got a grot who brings it down for his side, the captain. Around the corner goes Alwyn Jones. Alwyn Jones is all over that. Drumgar says, eventually he says, no. Nah. I called it. You didn't get the memo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, a penalty yeah, no, no, against Wales. Mine. Yeah. Well, if they want to play the line out, BG, of course they can, but Ben Volleyball is just going to tap it. So it's general play out, it goes, and the half's over. Two tries apiece. A thrill a minute. Half of rugby where Wales are up at the break. 14 points to 10 over Fiji. Well, Andrew Mertens, we knew we were in for something special in Oita, and it's lived up to the hype. Yes, absolutely. Both teams have displayed an ability to score points when they've held onto the ball, and it's swung back and forth. Fiji starting incredibly well, two tries. Wales hitting back when they held onto the ball, worked their way up into the half. How crucial are those two conversions by Dan Bigger going to be in the context of this game? But Fiji showing at the end they could get the ball back and still be dangerous. Welcome back to Oita Stadium. This is our third and Final pool game from Oita. Oh, some terrific pictures served up to you across the globe. We've got Sweet Caroline ringing out around the stadium. And it really was the first half we'd hoped for come to life. 
14 10 the score. Josh Adams with a pair for Wales. And for Fiji, their tries came via Joshua Tuisova and Kini Muri Valu. Here's a look at how our Welsh team looks. Owens did cop a yellow card in the first half. So he's got the little dot next to his name, Adams, the 11, with those two tries. Fiji have made, we're going to make a couple of changes early in the second half. Okay, it's must win time for Fiji. Not only that, they need a bonus point if possible. Tex. Big Tex Thabambati. Can he lift his team in this second 40 to a huge upset victory against the Welsh? Seconds. Vola Vola in the first half was good. But Bill came on for Lavani Mbutia. We're just cranking up the wattage once more, getting set, ready to go. Wales looking to all but secure a quarter-final spot with a win here. Pull D play. <laughs> Moving and shaking once more under the roof in Oita. And down it goes to Rundrundra. VG v Wales, Pull D. It's a must-win game for the Fijians. Are we hoping to ice it with a bonus point? That one just slapped up the park off the boot of Kini Murimurivalu. Wales on the counter, Kunitani looking to make the take up. They go. Advantage Falls for white. Fiji, knocked on Look by on Red. Red. Mata, Rundrandra, sharp feet from Rundrandra. Now the no look ball over to Nayada Levu. His feet are lightning, Rundrandra. Pabambati crashes that forward his 120 kilo frame and now the hit and hope from Vola Vola down to Bigger. There it is with Williams. Williams beats a couple. Another clean from the Welsh. What a long, good grab from Moriarty who shuffles to Alan Wynne Jones, Davis to his brother. It was Jonathan to James. Fiji over the top and winning the penalty. Moving on by Silver White. He's the hardest fullback in world rugby to shift right now. He's done it all tournament long. Had plenty of help. I'm Sean Maloney alongside me. All Blacks legend Andrew Merton. Sideline is. Two-time World Cup winner, Melody Robinson. Mel, that just the start that Fiji were looking for in this second term. Oh, absolutely. You know, a lot of this is about wiping out what happened in the last 20 minutes or so for Fiji. As we see, the Welsh attack. They love this left-hand side. De Wales have been attacking down there a lot. And look at that body position over the ball. And Alan Wynne jones just couldn't get rid of him. Strong. Now, if Wynne jones can't get rid of someone, you know he's tough. And it was Kunitani with help from Muri Murivalu. Made the steal. Put in the hands here of Matavesi. Wyatt has worked nicely tonight. Bola Bola looking for Kunitani. Loses at Kunitani. Now it's into the ground and yeah. just couldn't oil it there. The white that's the ball. And again, a couple of issues off Bola Bola looking for his runners, delaying it a touch too long and causing issues. Yes, well, I think I think the problem for Ben Bola Bola at the moment, he's looking too much to make that distribution. And I think if he can run at the line a little bit better, I don't think Kunitani ever was in a good position there. If he'd got a little bit earlier, might have been better. But I think Vola Vola needs to just show the Welsh defensive line that he's prepared to take it in himself, get the clean out over him. Doesn't matter how they go forward, they just need to go forward off that first phase. So Fiji, they led by 10, and that was the two converted tries. Well, scored by Josh Adams, and then 
The perfect bird of bigger that gave them the lead heading into the sheds. This is Gareth Davis sniping short side. Gets it to Jonathan Davis. He puts it in behind and he's unhappy with the strike Have on that one. On says, my bad. You play quicker. Play on. Fiji go quick. Play on. Mumu Valu. Floats it to Vatambua. Randrandra. Randrandra gets a chance to line him up. No the ball for Nathan Levu. Put down 35 out. Wales looking for the seal. Well, the body's here. Asking for it, not getting it. Lamani. Touch flat now, Fiji. It's slow. Andrandra is on the far side. It comes open. Papandati. Leave it! Bola Bola. Around the back they go. Mumu Valu. Mata. Mata with some stinging defensive shots in that first half. Where's one here from Alan Wynne Jones? Now floated over the top, tapped on by Saulo. He falls to the ground, centre field. Rumi Valley lets it skip across his face. Here it is for Kunatani. Kunatani drops to the ground and presents back for Lamani. Still playing with a penalty advantage here. Fiji. Nakarawa. Nakarawa just holding on. Bola Bola. Wales rush up quick on the outside. Tui Sova. Tui Sova. That one just slapped down there by Adams. What's the call? Leave it away. Lamani demanding it. Bola Bola. Manavesi, the hooker, nice distribution, Rumu Valet in behind, hoping that one will just check it won't, we're coming back to the mark. And this year was the high tackle from Alan Wynne Jones and then the, the loose arm from Adams. And yeah. I think the team I might be called upon again. Well, you'd think, wouldn't you? I mean, after what we saw in the first half, but uh, it doesn't seem it. And TMO doesn't seem to be wanting to come in this time as well. So. As we see Marta the just chucking it up, there's the high shot. I mean, it wasn't intentional from Wynne Jones, but you've got to make more of an effort to keep it low. And Fiji just offloading all the time. They're the fourth best offloading team in the tournament. They've got okay. Leone Nakarawa, who's individually got penalty the most here? offloads, the big or lock. Maybe penalty here for the high tackle on the 15. Ron Garcia's now giving the two options for the two different penalties. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take so we come back in. here. Well, well that'll help open up the angle for the kick to touch. Here. Here. Wait. Yes, it also, of course, On the 14. took it a little closer to the posts for Ben Volavola if he did want Sorry. to have a look at three points. They were Sorry, guys. debating Sorry. a little bit. The Fijians. Speaking English. <laughs> uh, so what do you want? Oh, right. okay, yeah, well, his kicking percentage is not as high as most of the other kickers at this tournament will I think 64 percent isn't an old one through the slots yet either captain it was you know. true he did kick well it last game yeah, though, didn't yeah. he? but Fiji yeah. along with some only just the in the finish. 50s for goal kicking percentage and it is crucial look at Dan Bigger's two conversions in the first half and the difference they Number might prove to be we saw it early on in this match Fiji Turning back a shot at the poles, which was an absolute gimme. Chased five instead, got it through to Isova. They kick the touch, they're 10 away here. The lineup has been bang on, and it finds the mark again. Mata comes short side. I'm going to catch them unawares. Wales just catch Mata. Tipped on there by Thob and Buddy on a Nakarawa. The locks combined. Back. Wales all over that. Saulo. Nasa Saulo. Put down and now Wales looking to isolate it. They got enough on it. Screaming for it. Is it a turnover to the Welsh? It is. It was untidy on the tail of Saulo. They couldn't secure. And Wales swept in and snapped it away. Looking for touch here. To Isova. We'll let that one run dead and we'll have another Fijian line out. Mel, keen to get your thoughts on this because I reckon that's one of these, this was a nice little move around the front with Mata, but I reckon that was one of those top tackles and not only is that a dangerous tackle, there it is there, he's also in the way there, 
as soon as the next player gets over the clean out it's so hard to get it in there isn't it well absolutely and i think wales have been very adept at slowing the fijian ball down it's the second person coming in who's coming in to contest bg here they brought semi run drundra one man in ball ball dumbing and almost getting through so they have the level on the far side the center they switch now run drundra run drundra holds it up and through goes very very valley and connects with Nathan. So good, we're having a little chat. It's a knock on into touch, but we need to check for an early tackle first. By a red. Okay. Skinny. Can you hear me? Skinny, can you hear me? <coughs> uh, yes, I can. So, for Carl. Uh, Jero Jerome, yeah. we need to rule on this forward pass okay. because the potential early tackle is a try scoring okay. situation. So check for the forward pass. Yeah. That is correct. Correct. So captain, captain. So we check, we check first the forward pass. Yeah. If it's not forward pass, we check here. But first of all, we check the forward pass for the team. That's all well and good, but when the tail starts wagging the dog like this, I think we're getting confusion in this process. Yes, we're going to look at that forward pass. Your own? Yeah. The time. You want to see the forward pass again? Yeah, no, no. For me, it's a clear forward pass. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah. therefore... They give the ball just on the line. And it's forward out yeah. of the hands, clearly. Yeah. Well, the question is, do you want the debate after the good game job. about the forward pass yeah. that the referee didn't see? Or do we mind the TMO coming in and making sure it's accurate as far as they define it? Oh, look, absolutely. And, and the, we want to get it right. We want to get the decisions right. So, you know, at times there are difficult situations. Does an early tackle as foul play supersede a potential forward pass or not? Well, there are certainly incidents that are happening out there which are disrupting the flow of the Fijian offence for sure. Sit! One thing's for sure, what exhilarating yet simple back play. Scintillating. Okay, he's the first one. The construction of the was so good as well. He's the first one. The little switch up of Rund Rundra coming in a man. He's the first one Sending on the ground. I have a level so out wide. We, 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 almost you, you did a really good job. So we reset. Immediate. And every strike. time that man gets the ball, Sean, he's putting in some devastating runs. Attracting defenders everywhere. Well, without exaggerating, if you stand next to half of these Fijian players, you just can't help but look at them because athletically they're really put together, which is why they often manage to win the collisions if it's one on one. Big weight from the Fijians, but it's a good clean strike from Wales. And now they knock it up through their first receiver. Right on the 22, cleaned up now oh, for 16. Gareth Davis. Down to Naya Levu. Naya Levu has a dip himself and gets past the tackle there of Alan Wynne Jones, who put 25 tackles on the board in their win against the Wallabies. Huge numbers. Sumi Rondrandra cuts through, gets it away, but it's Navidi who fills it. Oh, he's having. Some kind of a game, semi run through under. That went out in front, knocked on him. Well, just like the first half, the second term has all the field position with the Fijians. Can they convert? Three. Once again, it was that man, Josh Navidi, who was there to save the day for Wales. Rundrandra looking dangerous every time the ball gets near him, let alone in his hands. Mel, changes. There you go, there's another one of those big Fijians coming on, Penny Rafai. It's a lot. He's done his do for his country and gets a bit of a rest. All right, what about this guy last week in the last game against Georgia? He melted the stats machine. Two tries, 180 run metres, four line breaks, three tackle busts and three try assists and there he is again. It was desperate work from Navidi that shut down another 
semi run. That's right. And the best part of that for me was how he was carrying the ball when he first got it. In two hands, he's a threat. He's looking to distribute. Of course, he's got the pace to take a gap when it's offered, but he's looking to give the ball. And one of these days, he's going to get through that tackle and cause more mayhem. BG go to work at scrum time, and they may have the penalty advantage here. They do. Volvo. Buttonbu is short to Randranja, who drops, who absolutely floors Parks with the carry. Up to the 22. New penalty advantage here right on the 22 line, and there might be trouble here for Wales. Yep. Seven. He was well off his feet and offside. You kill the momentum. You stay here, you kill the momentum. Throw it away. But boy, where did that momentum come from? That big man who's now moved into you center. The wrong side just to kill the momentum. I think it's Nathan Level who's gone out to the wing. Now, isn't it on the left wing there in yes. Randrandra into center to get just more of the action and it's paying dividends straight yeah, away. It really is. And he's got Tui Sorva on his right hand side as well. I mean, who are you going to mark? He really is an athlete. No one, ideally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Played in three different uh, World Cups already. Right, the Sevens, and now this one. What an impressive athlete. Sam Maravesi. Chasing the target. He's got plenty of them to work with. They go to the back, brought down by Tex, Bob and Barney. And now they keep it tight. Fiji getting close. They're over the line. It's a penalty try. Penalty try. Fiji. Oh, who would have picked it? Fiji out driving the Welshman off a line out. And part of that was Alan Wynne Jones, who tried to get around and disrupt, but taking his bulk out of the equation. The Fijians just got in behind. Exactly the same. They were organised. Exactly the same as we are. They were dynamic. Big Tom here. Dan Bigger's offering his line-out mauling advice. Dan Bigger also not the captain of Wales, so interesting little exchange there. Radrandri got them heading in the right direction, and then it was all the big men. Yes, and we haven't really seen them go over the back mall on the line-out, have we? The first time they've really got that maul set, and Gus says, I think he had two things to look at, then he had no hesitation, did he? Unexpected and hard to defend when you drive at the back. BG, upper man, and really in the groove. Another huge run from Randrandra. He's giving some of these Welsh defensive players nightmares with his carries. Vola Vola, cross line for Kunitani. Kunitani tucks that one under the wing. Such a prolific offloader. That time round, he just settles. Lamani, Lamani, flat backs that one up the park down to Liam Williams. Williams. He's knocked out, loses the ball. But there might have been a Fijian hand in there. Look on by White. Lock on is a call against Fiji. They have got their mojo Fiji in this second term. They had it early on. Kunatani with a rock shot there. On Adams. Still with Wales. That's a good pluck ball for Navidi. Near the Lock on advantage has gone for Wales and now it's scrappy out the back. Straightening. He's almost out. Look forward. Play on the call. And still with Wales. Davis now it's lost forward. And Fiji looked to the left through Muriburi Valu. He kicks ahead. It's unorthodox. Nathan Levu sets off and that's ugly. We're just going to park it there for a moment. It's friendly fire and bigger is down and we'll just take a quick second to make sure he's okay. Yeah, that's that's ugly, isn't it? That's nasty and very, very it's unfortunate. It's I think he's too red for you. Liam Williams or George North yeah. has taken his hip, hasn't he? And hit the ground. Yeah, uh, that's horrible to see. But safety of the player. Well, what's concerning here is bigger had issues. You know, bigger had issues in the game against the Wallabies, and it's just a friendly knock here. To the left elbow, seemingly, of of Williams, and he's hoping that Dan's OK. okay. Yeah, he's, it's a bad hat-trick there, isn't it? He's hit the arm of Liam Williams, his head's hit the ground, and then he's caught Williams' hip on the way down, too. 
A lot of bravery shown. And commitment from, from all the players involved there. Scrum for red, and if we remember back to their last game, Australia, while we take due concern over Dan Bigot, the, the contribution made by Reese Patchell when he came on. Well, rugbyworldcup.com is the place you need to be online for all your match highlights and also details around the encroaching typhoon headed towards Tokyo as well. And don't forget to download the official Rugby World Cup app Simple as heading to all your app stores and banging in RWC 2019, and it'll do really the rest. So rugbyworldcup.com. We are in Oita, around about 90 minutes west, southwest from Tokyo. And the princess in the house as well. Yep, looks like they've got the stretcher out. Sometimes this is also a precaution. I think I keep my eyes. And 22 and, uh, for Wales is warming up on the sideline, ready to go. That's Reese Patchell. And he's on the field. And the biggest night's over. Yeah, little doubt that that was going to happen when we saw that collision and the result on the ground. And the crowd giving a good ovation. Both for Patchell coming on, but of course for the contribution that Dan Biggers made to this game. And as I say, in the wash up, those two conversions might be crucial. And he stands up and he gets an even bigger round of applause, Dan Bigger. That wasn't intentional, my apologies. The 40,000 seat stadium here, it's been full for each of our three pool games. Thank goodness. Dance back to his feet. Yeah, it's always always a, the most physical game a team will play. And to make eight tackles and as many carries as he has as well against the big physical Fijian outfit is, is very courageous. Just out of interest, guys, the first half actually took 54 minutes. This one's looking like it could take a long time as well. Ball by catch by this the red. This is test rugby for sure, loving it. Clarify shortly if it is actually a head assessment that Bigger will be receiving. Prolongs the time off the field, of course, for James Davis, doesn't it? Crush! Gareth Bye. Davis to feed the scrum. That is the call. HIA for Dan Bigger. Davis feeds. And the line comes north. Maybe 22! Hasn't had a whole lot of ball to work with George North in this contest. Ball. Now a penalty advantage for Wales. Offside to the call against Fiji. Too white. And you'd think there'll be a shot at the sticks coming. Down a man here, Wales, and a chance to level things up. He's used to this, Reese Patchell, coming on and automatically being called upon. And he delivered, certainly delivered in that second half against the Wallabies last match. He's knocked over 10 straight as Patchell finds himself at 45 from home. No breeze to contend with. Yeah. Oh. You After really you couldn't you get a better weight. night for rugby. So no released. humidity to speak of. Temp around about 22 degrees. Speaking of 22, here's Reese Patchell. Looking to make it 17 apiece. Patchell absolutely pumps it. 17-17. Oh, that's an impressive kick, isn't it? Sure, it might have been out in front, but 42, 43 out, or 45, sorry. Mel coming on like that and knocking that over. That's, that's nerves of steel, isn't it? One cool cucumber for sure. It's 
be interesting to see if Wales stick to that box kick and kick it back to the very dangerous Fijian backs here. Vola Vola, deep with the restart. Here's Davis. Thought about taking it for a run and then went to the air. Rumuru Valley. Vola Vola looking to align his runners out wide. Now slicing the kick across the park. He's found Williams on the fly. He goes shallow with the kick and leaps and pounds it on. Mata looks up. It's broken play and Mata is dropped by Alan Wynne Jones. Key tackle, but now the penalty advantage for Fiji. In fact, knock on is the call. The knock on advantage. Over now. Love and Barkey put down. Yeah. Problems for Fiji. 15. You clean out the 14 on the wrong side. 15 white. Entry. Andrew Merton's just Good biding his time and waiting to see what the issue was with Muri Muri Valu's work there. Sometimes get a little bit tired of polluting the game with chat for people, but certainly the Welsh defence has been very good. I'm not convinced they've been entirely legal at every ruck tonight, but hand off. You, you play as close to the line as you can and let the referee do the adjudication. And he has done so on this occasion, and Wales swing back onto attack. The Welsh fans here in Oita recognising that their men are in a real scrap against Fiji. Come on! Had their voice to the occasion. Slip back Not by Moriarty. Now the corner they come, Fiji called out of it. Back it goes to Owens. Nuvidi at the back. Look at the juice of penalty here. Fiji caught out of it once more. Nakarawa just stands in the mall. Parks. Kicks out of one. We carry from Parks. Fiji over top two runs for Andra. Patchell. Jonathan Davis straightens, gets that fin going. He fins hard and now keeps it alive. Is it a try? Is it a three for Josh Adams? If it is, if it is, it's something else from Jonathan Davis. But I would check about the touch. Yeah, we and me, I want to check the run into one, so, two, three. Skinny for Josh Adams. Yes, to run. I think so we're going to find this is It looked pretty good from up try. here. Not always the oh, man. <laughs> definitive answer, but check. of course. But what a foot in touch. What a run from Jonathan Davis. And running. You see, this time, first up, I would gonna, say it was a try. We're going to show you a split Unlike the other times you asked me, Sean. Let's see that. So Jerome, yeah. he is in field and there is no problem with the grounding. So you I may have... award the try. Yeah, thank you. Good job. It is a triple treat in Oita for Josh Adams. And what an amazing run from Jonathan Davis. It's taken his toll. Both men, Davis and Adams, getting treatment down at that corner flag where they've just produced. An heroic moment in the match. A big fan from off. Davis. Jerome Gar says is just going to slow Patchell's kick up. Check on those Welshmen there. But look at this. He's the big don't argue on Ben Volleyball. No, it was Watson Ball, sorry. And then what an offload that is. The no look out the back of the wrong hand. No, he's left footed out the side. Ah, oh, awesome. Love that. Watson Ball just went a little bit high and Davis. Had the angle on the outside, but that last pass, that last offload, that's usually what we see the Fijians do. How did Adams find places to put his feet with bodies flying everywhere? That was quite outstanding. The key thing here is that it's Wales putting points on the board while down a man. Looking to make it. Seven can't get it to go. It stays five with Wales in front. Patchell streak finishes, kicking streak off the upright as we see that run and the finish again. Just the balance and the 
body awareness of Josh Adams to control that ball, get it down on the line. And I think we're going to see the try assist there coming off. Davis hobbling back. There's another Davis as Gareth kicking to touch. Be careful, Gareth. There's your variation instead of actually kicking it for the distance. Mm -hmm. Wales have gone for the touchline. Oh. Obviously, with people struggling out the back Sorry. there, that's Owen Lockham coming on. And obviously, Davis okay. is limping to the sideline. Well, if you're just tuning in, you yeah. miss an amazing 62 minutes of footy. Fiji led 10 0. Wales took the lead 14-10, it was then Fiji 17-14, 17-17, now Wales back in front 22-17, here with Fiji, Bola Bola, with the in ball, and they settle at the back of the line out there, Bola Bola, with line speed from Wales, Randra Randra, Randra Randra, holding up for Muru Valu, Muru Valu, dropped by Moriarty, numbers wide left here for Fiji, Bola Bola, Goes a touch shorter and connects it with Thabumbati. Lamani. Lamani, full of all flat, just shuffles it across the line to Kunitani. No! And again, really flat here, Fiji. Nakarawa with the ball over the top to Maui. Limit! Full of all up. Over the top, risky ball. That looked to be knocked forward by Wales, Wales, and that is exactly how Jerome Garcia saw end. it too. Yeah, I think Ben no. Bolivola had in the back of his mind two phases ago when the ball went left. There were opportunities wide, and that ball could have gone out there. In a, for White. I think he started looking more and more for that ball, just get it out as quickly as he can to the width. As another change for the Fijians. For another white. bright white jersey Where's comes four? on, Mel. Yes, it's Ratu Ni Yarawa. Coming on at lock. It's probably one of the tries of the tournament like against now? Georgia. Big up here. Another like course is the captain on the ground there for Fiji. Dom Alanito. They really need him out on the field. Great leadership. Somehow Fiji have to back into the game it's been their discipline which has let them down a little and then one-on-one -on -one tackles of course they used that win back in 2007 as motivation for this match when they beat Wales at that Rugby World Cup and after that one you guys will probably remember that the coach got sacked and Warren Gatland got appointed and he's been there ever since Fiji with the ball now, and they need to use it the well. Ball was I just by Red. In the last period of play, as we look at the replacements that are now on compared to the current, the, the, the starting 15 from Wales, a couple of changes in the back line, as we know. But I just think Fiji in that previous passage of play just chose the wrong side a couple of times. I know they've got to work to a little bit of a pattern, but I thought they lined up against what was a very, very good. Welsh defence and took on the wrong side on a couple of occasions. So just a little bit of communication maybe feeding into Ben Volleyball would be welcome. Crouch. Mine. Sit. 16 to play. Lamani feeds. Yatok. Locking down the scrum. To Isova. Comes standing onto it. Just a to Isova. Goes over another, up towards the 22. He is almost unstoppable. Good pick up from Rundra Rundra. Holds his feet. Play on the call. Wales calling for the penalty, not receiving. Sui Sova and Rundra Rundra combining to help put their team back on the 22. Lamani. Here they come. And in their runs. Mumuri Valu holds it up for another level. They get fast like the Rundra Rundra. 10 out. Lamani. Tart finds a good forward runner. It's a rabbi. Penny rabbi. Navidi over the top. Bodies laid out everywhere. Follow ball. Follow ball. Dummying and losing it. And now Wales look up with potential to go on the counter down this near side. They shifted across the line with Patchell. Patchell holds his feet. 
a number up, okay, and there it is with a man who has three tries tonight, Adams. Still playing the knock-on advantage through a couple of phases here for Wales. Still advantage, you under pressure. Patchell. Advantage over this time round, down it goes. Mumu Valu rips it long. Over to Rundra Rundra, who lets it check off the turf. Puts the feet on. Gets away from one. Rundra Rundra looking for the link pass here. Rundra Rundra still going. His GPS is whizzing. It's out the back. It's loose and they've got a pounce on it. Fiji, they're isolated. Wales looking for the steal. Can't affect it. Last time he pops up. He'll play scrum half. He can do it all. Semi. Mui Mui Valu. Pick and go is good from Dom's Wongani Grotu. Run to run to. Looking short side. He's chasing over Levy who goes in and makes a good clean out. Punch forward by Rabai. By fucking white. Three tries on the score sheet tonight from Fiji. Lamani. He's covered the park beautifully. Volvo in behind here, chasing Yato. Chasing Yato. Not getting him. Nakarawa's there though. Back for Yato. Can't hang on. Wales get out of jail. Advantage penalty. You are on the ground and you tackle. Oh, it's ridiculous from both teams. And now the penalty for Wales. And they will settle. And everyone on the park and everyone around Oida Stadium just takes a breath. Frequency and you make the tackle. Yes, and certainly the players are, the Welsh, a little bit more so at the moment. The Fijians really look like they've got their heads up at the moment. Certainly the heart rate, the adrenaline is up. Red number two. And they're coming so close. Rundrundra's been in everything. He's showing all his skills now. He's playing halfback. He's pick and go. He is. He is absolutely brilliant. You know, everything he touches, he's so fast. It was an Did absolutely you know fantastic option there. It's just the bounce that beat the player. Did fall back in the hands there. <laughs> it's a really hard turf, so the ball will bounce up a lot. Beautiful work by the lock. Nakarawa to get over there. It is so exciting. You should see the people you know, sitting in the benches here and behind me. No one can sit on their seat at the moment. So just to give you an update on how Paul Dean looks, for the moment, Australia are on 11 points, Wales 9, Fiji 7. So essentially it's only a bonus point victory here that will do the Fijians any favour, and then they need to hope for results, other results to go their way. They can only play the cards they have in their mitts right now, and for the moment, they're down by five, but Same very off. much still in the game. Seven. Yeah, they can't afford to, to look any further. All they can control is tonight in this match, and Same on. they're still well and truly in this match, of course. All they want is the win here, and it doesn't matter. After that, they can look at points. Stay, stay, stay. Wales to the front. Stay. Control tempo really well, the Welsh. And they Move back, hang on to it here. Pinching metres off the Fijian forwards. Now out the back from D. Elliot D on the field. Good feet from Watkins as he straightens, but he's crunched. Fiji real line by the defence. In behind there from Pachilla goes. Tui Solva. Good grab. Tui Solva. Again, it's three men that need a drop. Joshua Tui Soba. Stay, stay back. Look at the ease of pressure here on Vola Vola with the angle. Taking forward well there by Ratuni Yarawa. Stay. No, no, 15! It's all skis, all skis, skinny by the red. Lamani. Bill Pong's kick. Won't get it across the touchline. Here with Wales, looking to set up a match-winning lead inside the final 11. Moriarty swings it out the back, falls fortuitously for this scrum half. Davis, Davis connects on the inside with Liam Williams, and that just might be enough for the Welsh. Yeah, great try from the Welsh, but the Fijians caught napping. The ball went to ground. It looked messy. 
looked like nothing was coming of it and they all stood around watching and the presence of mind of Gareth Davis pouncing Fijians making good tackles but then eventually it just got messy enough and broken up enough and nobody was sure what was happening and there he goes just gone to sleep a little bit Fiji and Gareth Davis what a great effort to yeah. send inside to Liam Williams Mel absolutely you know the counter-attack was brilliant and it came from that box kick actually from Fiji and the defensive line just didn't get up and chase altogether so it was ragged it was crooked there were holes to exploit and Wales certainly did that the chip shot is on the score sheet too it's a bonus point for four tries for Wales they are up by 10 10 a run At the end of it there, Liam Williams, good speed, good vision. And saw Gareth Davis grab that ball and got up and support really quickly. Came off. Too wide. Looked all too easy in the end for Wales. Number two wide. Quick change at hooker here for Fiji while we're waiting. That's Dulukoto coming on. Been pretty good today, much of this as well. Made some really good runs. There's some Welsh changes, which is why One, Jerome Garcia has held up three, play. But much of Saula also has made some really good runs to try and get some forward momentum for Fiji as the cavalry arrives for Wales. Yeah, that's Keir Lewis, Shingler, all running on at the same time there. Two in the front row and one in the middle. That one goes into the 22, not competing that time round. Fiji, happy to send it long. Drag back. By Williams. For Davis after he put away Williams for the bonus point try moments ago. Vola Vola. Gunatani. Yato. They're not cooked yet, Fiji, but they need to be the next team to score and they won't get their hands on there. Oh, mama. That shot from Semi was enormous oh wow good flap ball out in front here charge onto there by Shima. he comes looking again Semi it's Vatumbua who makes the tackle now the penalty for Wales On your off feet. their feet is the call against Fiji the same on your feet. Yeah, that's a fair call. You know, you've got to stay on, on your feet. feet. You've got to maintain your weight. There's that. <laughs> How did Liam, how's Liam Williams even already up from that? That is just, look at the head go there. He's a tough man. Andrandra amongst everything. Just curious that Fiji's the one that gets penalised for going off their feet. Well, we've seen every other ruck today has had players more often than not in a red jersey doing the same thing. to give credit to Wales because being up 29-17 when they have had to make far more tackles as you just saw 101 to 67 D oh, Rowe gets up he had to make the steal and he did Matawalu so him asking questions later if you're a lot of you? team going down thank you in their game two of this World Cup, that one is into touch. I'll be looking to Nakarawa to get up once more. Well, I think that the previous hooker, Ken Owens, knew what a threat Nakarawa it was in the air, and on a couple of those lineouts, he's actually moved right onto his side and doesn't throw down in the middle of the line, and the ref hasn't really noticed it. So the Fijians are trying to cut down the meter as well. 
Wales, Patchell. Oh, that's a big tackle. Play on is the call. But and Bill getting in on the big hit parade. Patchell out in front. That looked forward. That looked a long way forward. And they're coming back. Yeah. Off long four. Game has taken its toll. George North hasn't seen a lot of ball, just hasn't gone yeah. to that flank today that often finally gets a shot and they have to come back. Same time, plenty of movement, plenty of defensive requirements from 1 through 15, and they're all showing the effects of a physical and intense battle. Look at the metres made, 400 metres from each team. It's just been brutal. Crush! My! Set! Manawalu, Manawalu slides out the back for Bola Bola over the top for Nathan Levy. Lovely link play from Manawalu. Manawalu looking for Murimuri Valu who had Tui Sova out wide. Now Wales climbing no, in the breakdown. No, 23! Fini! It suggests if Wales can force one more turnover, that'll be that. Button Bua, under, 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 just heading in reverse for the moment, now straightening and fending off almost Mavidi. Isolated, still with Fiji though. Now the level. The Matani goes in. Uh, the top now. They've got to throw it. They've got to throw it all. Penalty Fiji. Pull away. Manawalu, my slap. No, 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 no. Roll up, roll up. Initially, and then said, actually, you know, Benny, you come on in. You have time, you And not to touch. Come down. It's too late. Jerome Garcia's five minutes out to start getting a little bit tougher at the rucks. It would be nice to establish some stricter guidelines right from the start. Very, very robust and resilient defence. We've seen, however, from Wales tonight. Some good attack, obviously, too, but with these big guys running at them continually, they have gang-tackled as if their lives have depended on it. Severe yeah. on both sides, and as I said before, Fiji oh, still bouncing That's around a little bit. Fine. They're sucking Fine. it in, but they are still keen to play, salvage whatever they can from these last moments of their tournament. Up at the front, Come brought on. in by Shingler, and Wales now protecting the clock. Go away in the midfield. They up and go again. It's not done. Might be Fiji who can have the last play with ball in hand as we creep closer to full time. Got a feel for George North. The time before he got the ball finally and it came from a forward pass. This time looming. He ran a beautiful line off Davis. Just got a bullet pass. A little bit too hard for him. Okay, well, we've got a preface tonight's player of the match by first acknowledging the efforts of Josh Adams, who scored three tries, but Semi Randrandra for moments tonight was on another plane. He was from another planet. I'll give you his numbers. 18 carries, 132 metres made. A couple of offloads, a couple of cracking tackles. 
close. The numbers that make it hard yeah, to argue. You are too close. Both teams or yes. I'll take I'll take an inch. Tonight he was a, a running gunning. Highlights real okay. all on his own. Won't be enough though. Yeah. Unfortunately for keep the going guys watching on back on the island as yeah, Wales yeah, yeah, yeah. really close strongly here. They were down. 17 points to 14. They were down a man. They found a way to get it done against this tricky Fijian outfit. Marali feeds. Comes short side. Gives it to Randrandra. What else has he got left? Goes to Tui Soto. Just slaps away. Gareth Davis. He has no interest. And rightly so now no, 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 Wales, no, no, no. Oh, on, looking for more. No, no. Relax. I think we'll just settle it down there. Relax, relax. Here. So it's a bonus First point look. win. Wow. About to be posted First here by Wales. White. Second round in red. Scrum. All but locking up top spot in pool D. Time off. Yes, and have deserved it, Wales, on, on balance. Across the match, they have been good. They'll think they can get better, of course, same as after that win against Australia, but it's been a hard match. They've responded particularly in defence. And as you said before, tough to, to choose a, a player, of the, tough to see a player of the match coming from the losing team. Nice in the context that Fiji will be departing after tonight and a bit of a farewell, but he really has been head and shoulders tonight. What well, makes it two player of the match awards on the bounce for semi run I don't know that we'll have that repeated across... Hey, the remaining games of the Rugby World Cup. May well get the gong for the end of the match while the scrum's going down. So expect Patchell to not waste any more time and effort and put this ball straight into touch. Full-time gong, you can hear echoing around Orita Stadium. Fed by Williams. He's had enough. Wales, job done. Fiji's run in Japan comes to an end. Full-time here at Orita Stadium. Wales, 29. Fiji, 17. We had hoped in the lead-up that we would get a game that would give us something to talk about, and that's exactly what we got between Wales and Fiji. Fiji led by 10, Andrew Mertens, but then Wales found their groove. Yes, valiant effort from Fiji, but a strong performance from Wales, particularly with that 10-point handicap start after 10 minutes, and to come back and score 29 points to 7 in the rest of the match. They didn't have it their own way. But the defence was resolute. Fiji found some gaps at times when they when they played with intelligent running options. But when they ran into that big red wall, the Welshmen were not found wanting. There is your player of the match, Semi Randrandra. So following that loss to Australia in their opener by Fiji in the subsequent loss also to Uruguay. Set their campaign on the back foot. They were way too good for Georgia. And tonight, well, as you mentioned, Andrew Mertens, they jumped out really strong before Wales came back into the contest through Josh Adams, who put in three tries of his own. Yes, they're clearly showing the benefit in terms of consistency. Let's take not take away the, the Uruguay match, but the three matches where we've seen them play against the two bigger teams where they put up such a huge effort mentally and physically. The comprehensive drubbing of Georgia the other night. They are showing the benefit of having more time together, Fiji. And I think going forward, they can only get better, particularly 
as we anticipate a global season at some stage when they can get access to their players who play in Europe, bring them in for longer periods and for more internationals. Seems absurd to see a 10-year veteran have a you know 20 tests to his name where it should be probably closer to 100. Well, it was the longest build-up they've ever had leading into a Rugby World Cup. And if we go all the way back when we're talking about Fiji, it was a moment in the 60th minute against Australia where they conceded a penalty they were up and then they conceded 27 straight and then that got carried on into that game against Uruguay where they had to make a bunch of changes they're on the wrong side of the result there same again tonight Dom you absolutely inspired us out there again with that incredible output I know that it wasn't a win um, but what's your reaction you know First of all, I want to thank the Lord. And again, it's always a strength for this team. You know, I'm so thankful that I'm here, that my team is here to compete in this, um, this uh, environment. And, uh, you know, we didn't get the win today. But, you know, the boys play, give it all they had for 80 minutes. And um, I'm so proud of them, and I, and I thank them for, for, for this game. You're a very experienced captain and player. You've been with many Fiji teams. What's it been like being with this outfit? You know, it's it's never easy being with a with a team coming from a small small nation, leaving your families behind, um, leaving everything behind, and coming to to this kind of big campaign. It's a lot of pressure being inspired for the boys, and I'm so thankful that you know they're just keeping their head up, even though this is not a win today. You know, it's not the result we wanted, but you know, I'm still I'm still giving thanks to the boys for for what they did today. And of course, lastly, once again, it's your people at home, the entire nation supporting you. A message for them. You know. First of all, I want to thank all the family and all the Fiji supporters who are here today. You know, thank you for, for coming all this way to support of Fiji. And we, we hope you will be here with us uh, till, you know, for next year and the year after. And thank you for the fans overseas in Fiji and everywhere there. You know, they're connecting through prayers and the support. We thank you. Big Vinaka Valim. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Vinaka. Uh, that had a mix of everything in that game. You've got coming away with the victory. Uh, what are your first thoughts? Um, I think uh, we, we probably started very slow at the blocks. Um, you, we knew if we, the Fiji got their tails up, we were going to be in a, for a hard day at the office, and we found it that. But full respect and credit to Fiji. Um, I think we saw the best of them at times today, and um, it's difficult to play against, but we have the utmost respect for them. Um, you know, we, we did the job today, but we've got plenty to work on coming out of this game. Yeah, and what does this win do for your team, your belief, your confidence going forward? Uh, it's funny, with all due respect to Fiji, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Um, you know, we had to show some character in both halves there, um, you know, turning the deficit. Um, and, and we showed that, but like I say, there's things we can tighten up and, um, you know, full credit to Fiji today. And finally, um, another message for the fans that you've got here also at home? Uh, oh, you know... It, it's uh, the red number of red jerseys coming across uh, here are growing, and it's great to see. But um, you know, arigato to the Japanese fans and the off to the Welsh fans. Hey, great Thank you. It's going to be a fun night in Oita and the surrounding cities for these fans. Let's get a look now at some of the stats from the matchup. Yeah, as we thought, pretty even. I mean, on the scoreboard, it ended up blowing out just a little bit at the end for Wales, but nothing really in it, particularly when both teams had even amounts of ball and in long, sustained periods. Meters made was very similar, a little bit more Fiji. And Fiji, thanks to the second half, even though they didn't get a lot of points, they did have the possession and the territory, which reversed the, the imbalance slightly from the first half, but still wasn't enough. They just weren't probably clinical enough when it mattered to take their opportunities. Well, John, it really, um, I guess, he detained everybody here. You really took it to them. You haven't got the win. But what will you say to your team after that? Oh, look, I'm just so proud of the, the effort our boys put in this evening. You know, they're playing, you know, Six Nations champion team that's been number one in the world this year. And we really took the game to them. And, and although we, we um, you know, we didn't get there in the end, I think it was absolute gallant effort all round. And talk us through, I mean, you've been with this side for a while, but the improvements we've seen both on and off the field. 
Oh, look, you know, a lot of work goes into this. You know, we've got an excellent staff that have been working with the players. The players are so committed. You know, they're, they're, a lot of them are playing all around the world, but they, they still come back and play for Fiji. They're so so proud to wear the, wear the white jersey and represent their people. And, and you see the passion with which they play on, on in games like this. Well, commiserations. Hopefully we'll see you back and also these amazing athletes back in that white jersey. Well, I can make a living. I'm sure you were a little worried at some point. Uh, where did you think you won it? I just had to stay in the game. A 10 0 down. I think I would have taken that scoreline, uh, you know, bonus point win. Uh, look, that was tough. They've got some unbelievable individuals, and, you know, we just had to stay in it. And we just, the message is, you know, keep trying to play three phases because when we get the ball and play three phases, we create opportunities, but we, we didn't do that enough. Um, that was a tough, fizzle, great game of rugby, really. I noticed you attacked down that left uh, side quite a bit. Obviously got a couple of three tries down there. Was that a specific tactic? No, not really. I mean, uh, Josh Ad Adams did really well. He just said we were trying to play three phases, and when we did play three phases, uh, I think in the first half, I think we got past five phases uh, three times, and two were tries, and, and one was the yellow card. So it was about trying to keep keep the ball and um, play a little bit deeper. But, you know, we, we probably didn't kick as as well as we would have liked. Um, they were having four or five in the backfield and that put us under some pressure. So we just needed to keep the ball. So um, no, I was, uh, I was pleased in the end and uh, thought defensively there was a couple of sets where we really stood up as well. So um, uh, we'll take a lot of heart from that. We've got a tough four day turnaround now to Uruguay. So we're gonna, I think the medics are gonna be working pretty hard over the next uh, 24, 48 hours, but uh, uh, yeah, pleasing to get that uh, bonus point win. Well, surely you've got to give the, a big majority of that uh, team a bit of a rest this time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we may be making a couple of guys are going to have to back up, um, but we'll be making lots of changes for Uruguay. And, and in fairness, they're, they're, they're a tidy outfit as well. They're going to be they're going to test us as well, particularly with this short turnaround and obviously guys having to sort of back up what's going on the bench too. So um, yeah, it's probably a bit of man management over the next uh, next 24, 48 hours, and just seeing where the players are at. Well done tonight. Yes, thanks, Mel. Thank you. <laughs> it's a good point he makes. Warren Gatlin around the medics working overtime leading up to the next game against Uruguay because Fiji just hit bang with the shoulders all night long. There were some booming tackles made. Yeah, and we saw you know a few of the key players from Wales on the receiving end. We saw Alan Wynne Jones get a nasty head clash at one point. Liam Williams took that huge shot from Randrandra. They'll all be feeling it tomorrow. Speaking of semi Randrandra, here he is, pitch side. Well, probably no surprise that Semi Randrandra has won Player of the Match. I, I guess it's a bit bittersweet for you because you haven't won, but your side played brilliantly. Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank the Lord for uh, the blessing, uh, the talent they gave me today. I know without him, I'm, I wouldn't be able to stand uh, in front today. Uh, so grateful for the boys, the effort, uh, for their hard work. And, uh, yeah. Tell me a little bit about how you play. You got involved a lot. You played at centre, you played on the wing, and then you were doing the pick and goes as well. Uh, we know that uh, this is our last game. Uh, we try to empty the tank, uh, give everything we got. Uh, then I have to empty all the energy out of myself. Uh, that's why I've been involved in all of the place today. Well, well done, and now I'll just uh, let you accept the MasterCard Player of the Match Award. Congratulations to Semi Rundradra. <laughs> oh, that is so good from Semi, a player of the match. OK, let's get a look at how it's all gone down tonight. Back to the beginning we go. The Welsh arrived with huge numbers to support and they were stunned early on as Joshua Tuasova rumbled his way over for the opening try. It was all with Fiji, in fact, in the first 15-20. Yeah, Tuasova, don't know how he got that across the line. He's an absolute wizard. 
power and strength, but then soon after, Fiji, when they thought they were in for another try, it came back for the tackle, got classed to tip tackle, and Caird Owens went to spend 10 minutes of a break, and then it was Muri Muri Valu who scored the second try for Fiji, in similar fashion to the try of Tui Sova, before Fiji also went down to 14 men, with Thabumbati deemed to have made an illegal charge. A great try from Josh Adams for his first, taking a kick from Dan Bigger out wide. And another defensive penalty given across by Fiji. Another yellow card, and Josh Adams was in for another try. Rundrundra was getting himself involved in absolutely everything in the Fijian cause. As he said in the interview, interview uh, emptying the tank. This was a penalty try for Fiji, and as you mentioned, Andrew Mertens, not often you see the Welsh forward part crumpled by a rolling ball, but Fiji landed that, but then landing a shot back the other way, Jonathan Davis. He's one of the best fenders in the business, but the offload on the other side was an absolute doozy, and it was all Wales towards the backhand. Moriarty getting it to the little live wire scrum half Davis and it was Williams on the inside to set up that all important bonus point win for Wales full time Wales 29 Fiji 17. Some great pictures coming from Oicha Stadium. This is our third and final pool game in this part of Japan. The city has embraced it in unbelievable fashion. As we said at the top of the broadcast, it's impossible to walk down the main street in Oicha without being high-fived by a local. And tonight's going to be a whole lot of fun in town. And you know what? When you do get away from high-fiving locals, you end up in one of those little gyoza places, Sean. <laughs> you take refuge in one of those little sakayas or the gyoza places or, or or curry houses, and that takes its toll as well. It'll be the last time I get to reference this from this stadium, but Oita, known for its tempura chicken, which is world-famous. So if you are coming to town for the quarterfinals, make sure you get around that. Here are the fans getting around Semi Randra after a second straight player of the match performance. He's one of the form players in world rugby right now is Semi Randra and he waves goodbye to the 2019 Rugby World Cup. Okay, right now we're going to wave goodbye to you at home. Don't forget to check back in Friday. Next up, it is Australia v Georgia.